Hello everybody and welcome back to a modded character showcase. Today we're going to be revisiting the Moses character from the Ipecac mod. This is a character I have showcased before but it has since been updated and fully completed with new synergies and a few new other things and I'm just excited to get back into it. I sort of told the developers a while back that I'd look back into this character again after the update so I am excited to jump back in and see what we can do as Moses here. He is a pretty interesting character. Like I said, if you haven't seen him before, he has some rather intriguing abilities as you can see he fires his tears in a very interesting way and he swings them away with a cane it's pretty cool there's actually a, a nice little um item card on the floor there for this dude which looks pretty nice um but yeah so you can get some pretty interesting synergies with this guy i'm hoping that we can get some good stuff going on as you can see with low fire rate it's a little bit tricky um but we're getting there i love his hair as well i love his like little mutton chops he's got going on they're just beautiful so yeah, he's kind of like, um, it's kind of a little bit like Andromeda in the way that he like builds up a shot and then releases, but obviously we don't have the tiny planet aspect to deal with. Uh, we do get a pretty good item here to start off with. Uh, let's crack this guy and get you as well. And we can do this right off the bat and just go boom and get small rock. Wonderful, wonderful. Very nice to get something like that right off the bat. Some extra fire rate and damage. Fire rate's going to be really good because that's going to be the rate at which our tiers stack up. we got a Pyron chasing us. We can actually also just use the tiers in front of us to, like, hit them directly into an enemy. We don't have to whack them away from us. In a situation like this dude that's firing off all these fires, it's a little bit easier to do that with. Uh, I will say I'm having a few frame rate issues right now. That might just be because of some of the updates I've had to some of the mods that I'm using. Or it might be something to do with Moses himself, but I am unsure as of right now. Um, but anyway, so we're just going to carry on. I'm actually really happy with the uh, Bob's Rotten Head that we got there at the start. It's very, very good. Buffed in Repentance to be pretty good. I have no idea if I use Are You A Wizard is going to work here, but I kind of doubt it. And I, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say it doesn't. I was going to say I hope not because that would be very bizarre. That would be very, very hard to work with. Uh, we'll go straight to our boss. We might even be able to one-shot if it's like a pin or something like that. Or it's something like that. That was an eternal boss, actually. You can see by the sheer amount of flies that were dropped. We are still playing with the normal difficulty mods that I use in my regular series. Wow, we got another rotten item. Interesting. There needs to be a rotten synergy. This would work so well for us. Let's go back to our library and just see if we can get, like, a bookworm or something. I'd be willing, maybe, to put Bob's Rotten Head down if we got... Well, obviously, if we got Book of Virtues, it wouldn't matter. But if we got a Lemmageddon, maybe. There's a few modded books in there I'd, be, I'd like... If we could get, like, a Genesis, that would really be top tier. Genesis would be really good. Because um, that's a... Uh, uh, is, is, is it Book of Genesis I'm, I'm thinking of? I don't think it is, actually. Um, I think I'm thinking of Book of Jubilees is the one. Because that one's a passive. But we'll just grab that. I'm going to stick with this. We got ourselves a Soul Hearts. So I'm, I'm relatively happy. And while we're over here, we might as well do this extra room. Okay, we don't actually need to. Right. Oh, we can actually spam to, to click this. Now, I do wonder... Does this work similarly to the Forgotten, where I can open chests and stuff? It does not. Okay, that's that, that's fine. That's fine. I was just wondering. I do wonder if the swing itself does any additional damage, though. That would be a an interesting thing to find out. I'm going to guess at the moment that it doesn't, but it would be cool if it did. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to spend my extra key going to the other floor. But yeah, of course, as you can see, Moses he has a pretty interesting fire, firing mechanic here, and he's a... He's definitely a cool character. I'm glad that he got updated and he's got more synergies now. He's a bit more stylistic now as well. Like, he, when I first showed him off, he didn't quite have as much personality to him as, like, a lot of his spriting hadn't been completely finished. Okay, we do... I guess say we did have an Eternal boss there. Bob's Rotten Head just demolished it. Ooh, this is a really good way to destroy poops. <laughs> just run straight into him. Okay, so I think once we hit, like, a three-tier rate, we get an extra tier in our circle. I'm not sure exactly when that procs, but hopefully we can get an extra one soon. Okay, so I think the I think the cane can just knock back at enemies. Good, good. Love having unlimited bombs for the time being. This is real broken. This is really, really broken. We just absolutely destroyed the game. Because now, while having our tiers just floating... They're going to be firing lasers at enemies. That That is probably, modded-wise, like, one of the best modded item synergies we could possibly hope for. This is insanely strong. Uh, so, the Moses Showcase has kind of flown off the rails a little bit here. 
Um, as you can see, it auto aims towards enemies too, so pretty good, pretty good. Uh, if it didn't auto aim, it wouldn't quite be super crazy, but the fact that it does makes it pretty insane. And I actually, I don't know, I, I, I maybe someone will have to check the validity of this, but maybe we got. Um, maybe we got this last time as well. I, I I feel like last time I showcased Moses, we got this exact same item. I don't know why, but something about it feels familiar. We are getting a lot of eternal enemies right now. I mean, we're luckily getting through it quite easily. It's not it's not proving to be that much of a hassle. I will take devil deals. Um, honestly, I'm not going to take either of those, though. <laughs> um... Yeah, something about it feels familiar, but anyways, I am absolutely jazzed to have a pretty wicked good synergy early on, even if it is with a modded item. I know this isn't a hard-coded synergy for the character. Also, Pyromaniac there is pretty incredible, uh, especially when we've got unlimited explosions. If we get down to our red HP, if we want to use, um, like, a blood donation machine, it'd be pretty good for us. One thing that I'd love to see, and I realize it's a lot of work, so I don't ever expect a modder to actually do this, but it would be very cool, is I've started using this Eternal Champions mod, and I actually am quite, I'm quite liking it so far. It adds a little bit of extra difficulty here and there. It doesn't make things too strong. I think the only aspect of the mod that I think is a little bit, um, the balance is a little bit leaving something to be desired is uh, there's currently no option to disable uh, eternal enemies from appearing in regular rooms. I'd prefer if, sorry, eternal bosses. I'd prefer if eternal bosses could only appear uh, within boss rooms. But other than that, I think everything else is pretty perfect about it. But it would be cool to see some modded enemies get um, get eternal variants. I realize that that is a hell of a lot of work for either the mod creator or the eternal champions creators. I don't know who would be on the side of doing that work, but it would be pretty cool to see, wouldn't it? Oh my god, this is such a such a cool build. Uh, I will definitely do this. We've got enough keys. Hey, we get some extra boss damage as well here. Feels like an Isaac item, this, because I know that Isaac has a specific stat for boss damage. This game doesn't, so I'm not exactly sure how uh, the creator of this item achieved that, but it'd be interesting to know. Got you, got you. <laughs> I just love that we have this like little orbiting circle of laser death. The only thing that could really improve this a lot would be like getting this with herming or something. It seems like the laser fire rate is very varied. Sometimes it's very minuscule and doesn't really make much of a difference. Other times the lasers just stack up and do a lot of damage. For the most part, it's not been crazy strong though. Oh, by the way, I do also have the sewing machine mod re-enabled. Someone made a pretty good suggestion that... Hey, because I'm using difficulty mods now, um, and I'm not filling my donation machine, it kind of makes sense to add the sewing machine back in, because it shouldn't be too overpowered, and I shouldn't have the ability to get lots of money for it via my donation machines by, by blowing them up. So, I took that suggestion on board. It might not stick around forever, but it's something that I'm willing to try out. I, when I initially tried the sewing machine, I thought it was a little overpowered. What I might end up doing is I might tweak the mod myself a little bit to... Um, change up the values of how much it costs or change up the values of how common the sewing machines are just to make it feel a little more balanced but it's, it's a mod that i quite enjoy um although i have to say it is the only mod that i've added between last run and this one and I, like i said i am getting more like a little more like than usual so i'll have to investigate whether sewing machine is the cause of that or the, whether it's the merge character i'll be playing another run today anyways it's sunday for me so i'm having a a good time recording and i'll probably record a few other videos today so i will end up figuring out if it's the cause of the mod or if it's the cause of the character um i hope it is just like another mod or it's just a weird run for it because it'd be a shame to have to uh not play merce or disable sewing machine either one would be a little upsetting but we got stapler even more damage here that's pretty saucy Ooh, one moment i got quite a lot of discord messages coming through here um one second Let's have a little look so, let's have a little look so. There you go, cool. Let's jump back in. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I think with extra damage, we're really going to be starting to get a bit crazy here. I, I, I do think that maybe um, this tech item, I realize it's a quality four, it's meant to be pretty heckin' good. And I realize we have a, a run that's specifically tailored to making this item good, but it'd maybe be a little bit more, a um, li little bit less crazy, should I say, if it wasn't, also aiming lasers i think that's the that's the real crux of the item that's making it kind of insane the fact that the lasers auto aim okay 
Now, I don't know how this is going to work, but it's an Ipecac item, so... <laughs> okay, now, will will it fire lasers at enemies is the, uh, is the true test. It does. We've got lasers that fire lasers. <laughs> this is an Ipecac item as well, so... This is a very, very, very interesting showcase that we've put together here already. We've got some real wacky stuff combining. I like it. Really, really strange combinations here. But I love it. Like, the slow-moving lasers that create this little um, hexagon pattern is, is, is pretty cool, really, isn't it? It's pretty cool. Our rotten hearts are proving to be very valuable as well here, which is really nice. I will crack that earth and I might get some soul hearts out of it. Or the crystal apple. Chance to teleport around the room on hit. Standing still teleports the player around the room. Um, do you know what? Why not? But yeah, with this setup, because of the slow shot speed, we can just kind of fire and let the shots do the rest. It's pretty awesome, really. It is pretty awesome. Okay, crack that bad boy. Nice, nice. Eternal Fallen. I did miss my bomb, unfortunately, but honestly, we're wrecking him. Okay, so it splits into three. Oh, God. I knew I was getting hit at least once there. We did get the Guppy Soul item, which is pretty good here. I like that. Um, and then, Godhead, what did I say about getting Herming? What did I say? The only thing that could make this more crazy is getting Herming. Oh, this is just insane. This is just silly. <laughs> Oh, what have we created here? I'm like, do 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 do. Just gonna show off little Moses. He's a cool little character with a cool little fire mechanic. And all of a sudden, the game's like, bam! Get the most overpowered you've ever been right now, right now, quick, 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 quick. Super overpowered mode. Let's go. Oh my lord! Why is it firing so many more lasers now as well? <laughs> oh, this is just quite insane. Oh, we got a Hero Font card here too. We'll also pop our Sun card in the next room we enter. Yeah, this is uh, this is going to be a pretty speedy run, I reckon. Another Eternal dude. Doesn't matter, he's dead. <laughs> Does not matter, he is dead. God damn, my luck is genuinely obscene. What 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 happened to me in a past life? To have the look that I that I have in Isaac. I will absolutely pile into this. Fire a monstro lung s volley of tears that stick to enemies. Ooh. Um also we'll take that, thank you. Let's give this a go. I think that's pretty good. Now that we've got enough bombs to do what we want. I think firing a volley of bugger tears seems pretty useful. Do you know what? There's another mod actually that I enabled. I think there's like another mod that adds a few new items that I added. Well, I say a few. It adds like 20 or so. I might have to see if that's the cause because it could be. I did see on the description of the mod that someone said it was causing some lag. So it could be that. Honestly, I don't think you guys will be able to notice it that much anyways. I think it's uh, pretty light. It's only like dropped a few frames. It's just a little more noticeable for myself while I'm playing, but hopefully for you guys, it's not too bad. Um, I think we try and go for a, a good reroll on this. Doubles all trinket spawns, gulps trinket. Uh, I, eh. Leshy's camera is real good. I'll leave that for now, though. Confessional spawns upon clearing a boss. It's pretty good for other characters. Ooh, baby, that could be good. I'll grab this and see what it is. It's a strength card. I'll take it. I'm going to keep rerolling the. Keep on rolling, 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 rolling. What? Okay, so for one, I'll take that. And for two, the hell is this card? The golden card. The golden card gives you uh, a golden bomb, golden key, and one golden heart. Wow, that's pretty insane. We'll uh, we'll carry that to the next floor. That is pretty insane, though. So I think we're going to, like, despite having low speed, I think we're going to be speeding through this game pretty quickly. I think if we had higher speed, it'd be a bit more. I really can't understand why when I hit an enemy after getting Godhead, it splits into so many additional lasers. I think it's because the Godhead aura ticks damage very, very rapidly. So every tick of damage has a chance to spawn an additional laser. And so what it's doing is every single tick that Godhead procs, 
is spawning even more lasers, and that is seemingly exactly what's happening, yeah. That's kind of crazy, to be honest, but I have to say, interesting synergy. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Let's go, 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 go. Right, pop this. That's a really, really strong card. I don't know what mod it's from, um, but I, I hope it's relatively rare. <laughs> To be fair though, I feel like it's it, one of the difficulties with balance in this game. You guys know, you guys know me by now. Anyone that's new probably doesn't, but I'm an, I'm a big advocate for for a balance for making sure a modest balance. I got error room. Okay, that was unintentional, but like I said, it's bound to be a fast run. I guess bound to be a fast run. Um, I'm a big advocate for balance. I, I like to try and oh, I can actually get out of the error room. Doesn't matter. Um, that was quite lucky. But yeah, I am a big advocate for balance, and I realize I I say a lot of things that that are. Honestly, easier to say in, in um, than actually implement. Like, there's a lot of ideas I have, a lot of things that I say that aren't as easy as just do this and the, the, the mod is fixed. Um, and I think one thing that's, like, difficult with modding for developers and, and people that play the game in terms of balance is just, um, like, it's kind of trying to match that vanilla style because vanilla, especially with Repentance, did add a lot of very, very, very strong cards. There's a lot of really crazy ones. So I feel like from a developer's point of view, if they want to make a card that's more fun, like that golden card, it seems a bit more valid because there's already some overpowered cards in the game. It doesn't really matter if they add any more. Um, and as long as they are uh, reasonably rare, which is normally the rarity is more so balanced out by the amount of other cards in the mod rather than anything else because obviously... The more cards there is available to drop, the less chance of a specific card dropping. Um, and yeah, it's just kind of a difficult balance to... It's a different, difficult balance to strike. And I, I do appreciate the, the effort that a lot of people go into to try and uh, try and balance their mods. And especially people that spend the extra time trying to rebalance their mods as well. It is definitely a difficult task. I think a tears up is going to be great for us here. It's definitely a difficult task. Um, and I, I do respect the people that spend the extra time and effort to try and, uh, try and help appease the the people outside of the mod team um when issues of balance are concerned prian is um who creates the collection collections is a, a like a, a, a person i'd say is like one of the best in the modding community in my opinion for that um pretty much every time i i've brought up something balance related or even anyone's brought up things balance related to him or fixes or anything to do with the mod it normally gets updated in just a few days and that is that's not to say that that uh the other mod teams are any worse for not doing that i think with other mod teams especially bigger ones like repentance plus it's a little more of a process it's a little more difficult to um to just decide when to do those things oh my lord yeah it's a little more difficult to decide when to just do those things so it's not as easy as just saying it and it happening. Um, but yeah, I gotta say, I just generally respect it. Let's uh, let's grab that. Let's check in here at least. There might be something good. Tier game is pretty incredible. And this should be relatively quick anyways. There's a solar Lazarus in here somewhere, apparently. There's a lover's card in here, okay. Why have I got such baby tiny tears? Yeah, tier game means every time we get a kill, our tiers gain a new tier effect. Not not stacking. The, the, it changes the tier effect with each kill. Ooh, smell a random trinket onto me. Hell yeah. Hey, wooden cross. What a great one to get. Oh my god, the amount of lasers. <laughs> it's just crazy. Look at the amount of bugger tears that are stuck to the, the haunt there. Oh my god. Oh, what the fuck? That's all the soul stones. Why are we getting so many here soul stones? What the hell's happening? One of the tear effects we got there was pretty crazy, I think. Oh my god, the herming effect is so strong. Oh my god. <laughs> this is just silly. Oh my lord, look at it go. 
That was some icy boys right there. Look at how look at how crazy hard the herming is on those bugger tears. They herm so much. <laughs> this is just silly. We do have a telepulse if we want to get out of here, but I'm gonna stick with it. What on earth just happened there? Look at this! What the hell is like a an absolute mass of tears just stuck in the air? There's a soul of the keeper here. Solio of Apollyon. Grab that. Wow. That was, uh, that was pretty nuts. That was pretty nuts. Yeah, frame rate is dying. Frame rate is truly dying right now. I don't know what's going on. But we are making our way downtown nonetheless. Okay. Keep her going. I'm going to do a little bit of testing after I finish recording this episode and see if I can fix that before I record my next video. It should be too, it should be a pretty easy fix, I think. I think it's just one of the mods that I've recently enabled. I might need to disable it or tweak it a little bit to be a little more um, palatable to our current mod collection. That is the one sort of big issue I have with making these big, large mod packs, is you do unfortunately um, have a significant issue of whenever you add a new mod, it's... It could, it could destroy the ecosystem, so to say. Yeah, it could, it could easily cause some significant issues, and it's always very, very hard to, like, decide which mods to add and which mods not to and things like that. Um, I want that, please. We should try and get our secret room here. The room is right here, I think. Damn, it's not. I thought it would be. In these smaller rooms, it just, everything just dies. Even sometimes before I start, before I let go of the tears. I think one thing that's making this even more powerful is once I have a full suite, I can keep it into the next room. Like, I don't have to reset every time. Oh my god. Oh, we got our ultra secret room there, beautiful. Is that just a heart? Oh, that's just a, a heart, isn't it? Candied heart. Okay, that's not so bad, but that's, that's still not great. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's use our lover's card in here, actually. Bloodied card. Okay, bloodied card is pretty good. Whenever we uh, get hit, we have a chance to use whatever card we're holding. Obviously, we're not holding a card right now, but later on, that could prove to be quite useful, especially with all the soul stones we're getting, actually. What kind of chest is that? Oh, I think we got... What the hell? I don't actually know. That's a pay-to-play chest, isn't it? We don't have pay-to-play. Strange. Ooh, he is eternal. Oh my god, he has a lot of health. Holy sugar tits, he has a lot of health. Oh my god. I think his gimmick is literally just, I have a fuck ton of health. We got the left hand. I'll take the left hand. Why not? Unfortunately, I did go pretty much every which wrong way, but we managed to get our ultra secret room, so not so bad. But yeah, like, like we can carry all these tears into the next room. If it made it so that you had to rebuild up every room, it'd be a bit different. God damn, we got another one. We got poop shooter enemies. It's definitely risky doing what I did there and just smelting around and drinking it onto you, but that's, that's probably, probably one of my favorite runes in the entire game. Because it's like, smelting around and drink it onto you is potentially very powerful, but it could also be almost useless or detrimental. There is plenty of trinkets in the game that you do not want. There is some trinkets in the game that are only viable sometimes. There's some trinkets in the game that are almost useless all the time. And then there's a small fraction of trinkets that are... Uh, and then there's actually quite a large uh, fraction of trinkets that are just okay. And there's quite a small fraction of trinkets that are actually good. And there's an even smaller that are really good. So I think it's a really well-balanced um, thing. It's, all, it's got a bit of risk-reward to it as well. Is this an eternal conquest? I couldn't tell. Oh. We got rid of our uh, thingy heart. Nice, that was pretty lucky. Patched hearts are uh, pretty crazy. Got Guppy's Tail. I don't know what this is. I'll, I'm going to take it. Horror Babylon, unfortunately not great. 
Don't know what this is. Guppy's eye. Guppy's tail. Guppy. What's our third Guppy item? Oh, we got the soul of Guppy. I knew we had one. That's why I took the, the Guppy items after I got Guppy's eye. But I wasn't 100% sure, I'll be honest. So this should, this should produce a ridiculous amount of flies, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it does. It, it produces a ridiculous amount of flies. Yeah, just just leave it be. When I've got a run this strong... Do, do you know one thing I'd love, love to see change with enemies like that? I think enemies like that, and this even goes for regular hosts, I think they should be more like mushrooms, where when their head is down, they have a lot of armor. Then when their head is up, they have no armor. But, like, make it even more than mushrooms. So, like, especially for hosts, just give them, like... 90 armor or something crazy to give just give them a ton of armor then no armor when their head is down so then instead there's athletes foot there i'm thinking i'm fine for that so then instead if you've got a redonkulous build like this you can still kill them they are still killable but it's going to take significantly more damage instead of it just being a waiting game i would absolutely love to see a mod that does that for all me all enemies that have invincibility phases invincibility attacks or whatever just make it so that instead they just have re like really high armor so on op builds they are still killable and it's still worth shooting them while their head is down even if you've not got an op build just to do a little bit of damage i think that would be a fantastic change just because personally i think um invincible enemies in any capacity of any design are just a bad idea i think then they're, they're just not fun that every single time i see one of them I'm always always annoyed and to some degree all they serve to do is slow down the player artificially and it's like when you've got an op run it's like oh, well just guess you just got to wait to kill me even though you will guaranteed kill me and not get hit next time my head pops up. I'm going to make you wait anyways, because why not? I think that's a really annoying way to... Oh my lord. And that's a really annoying way to have the game. So that's my idea for this episode. Look at the amount of flies. Oh my god. The boss armor on this fella is making him survive a little longer, but we got him anyways. Uh, I don't think we're going to do hush. I think we're just going to keep powering through. Powering through now. Ba -ba -da 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 -da. Okay. We've not really used our uh, pepper shaker all that much this episode. I realize that it's pretty strong. I've only used it on a few bosses. But I think I'm kind of just like so powerful that it's like not really that important to make full usage of it. I'm glad I can get that soul heart real quick. Despite our movement speed being horrendous. That's one thing that's always annoying when the game's a little laggy. If, if your frame rate's low and you have slow movement speed, it just feels like you are moving an absolute snail's pace. Don't really care about either of those, to be honest. I could just pop the Empress, but it's fine. Oh, God. It's taking forever to get from room to room here. And it also feels like your fire rate is way slower than it actually is. It's, it's, it's essentially your game's playing at like 0 0.75 game speed. It's pretty weird. It's I suppose it's better to have games slow down than the game physically lag like an online game. Like where you're jumping back and forward or rubber banding. That would be way more annoying. I wonder if this is a set card. I don't know, but I definitely want it. I realize it's a bit early to use it, but still. Got some big pills about. I'll take a big pill. Speed down. Are you kidding me? A doubled speed down. How fun. I was already feeling quite slow. The game was like, B -b -b baby ain't nothing yet. Oh my lord. We've got this for the full fight here. This could, this could crash the game. I'm going to stop firing. I don't think it matters if I stop firing or not, you know. I think the game is pretty much guaranteed to crash here. Because... Because of tier game, we have this tier effect for the entire fight. I don't know which tier effect is doing this, but every single tick of the laser is spawning more and more tiers. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm not really sure. Ow. 
But yeah, we fire one tier and it just fires a thousand. Even with your boss armor, you are no match for this tier game that I have. We actually got perfection. I will grab that for the next floor. And we'll see what we get from our chest here. But this has been a primo showcase. This has been very good. Oh, look, more technology. It's what I've always wanted. We've got some Eternal Boys here. The Eternal Bosses do die pretty quick for the most part. Okay, I'm just going to keep going straight forward and hope for the best. Damn. Champion Plums coming in. Ooh. Luda. Oh, that's not Luda. Okay. Ooh, as we're moving, we fire more and more shots here, look. That's pretty interesting. Dog's Tooth. I wonder why it didn't give me Ludo that time. That's weird. I love Tear Game. Tear Game's so fun. This is a boss that has boss armor, as you can clearly tell. Not much, though. It's still killable with an over overpowered build. And I, I honestly, after having, after tweaking with it and playing around with it, I like half the boss armor that the mod originally gave. I think it's in a really good spot now. I think everything, it doesn't feel like it's artificially extending the fights by too long. Because I realized that the, the problem, the big problem with boss armor is a lot of the time, it just feels like it's artificially making the game harder. It's not actually making anything harder. It just makes bosses take a longer time to kill, which it, it, it definitely does. But I feel like it just, it makes, it, it makes it so that, because I get a lot of OP runs, which is unfortunate for you guys, because I know that you guys probably don't get as many as I do. But I get a lot of OP runs, and it just makes them feel not quite so dominant, so I don't feel quite as... I don't feel quite as much like I'm stomping the game. Honestly, this is probably one of my favourite Eternal bosses in the entire game. Eternal Blue Baby is really fun. He's a bit difficult, I will say. He's a bit difficult, especially when you get stuck in a corner, but... And he's got quite a lot of boss armour too, of course. But I think we've got him. Honestly, the biggest problem for me right now is I physically just can't see what the fuck's going on. But with all these flies going in and stuff, and and also like Blue Baby and and like the Lamb and stuff, they're they're such pushovers in the vanilla game. I kind of like them having harsh boss armor and more HP. Like it doesn't make it feel like I can just stomp them even with base stats and stuff. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this Moses showcase. A very fun run indeed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.